back to the channel. Today I wanted to show an update on what we've been doing inside the camper. All right, let's get some light in here. We'll pull back the curtains. All right, we're gonna start from the beginning, right coming out here. We have our mirror right here and our fantastic fan. And then as you come in on the wall, you see the remote for the uh, fantastic fan. This is the back wall. So I'm gonna turn around and step back a little bit so you can see. Now when you enter the rear of the barn doors, it's a seven by 16 cargo trailer. We took off the two uh, futon mattresses. And the reason why we did that, here's the two beds, is it was too thick, it was just too heavy. So what I did was, I got my comforter, I got a mover's blanket, I got a mattress pad, and then I went with another mover's blanket. So you can see so against the plywood, it's not as heavy. And you can lift up and you can see our storage. Much easier. That futon mattress just made it too impossible to lift up. You know, if we're going to plan on living in here, it's just not going to work. Okay, let's go back to the second bed. So this is the hubby side. He made it longer for him because he, obviously he's taller than me. And what I did was, since it's a, it's a sofa bed, it's a sofa in the daytime and then a bed, of course, at night. I just put the pillow right here. Just like, you know, something comfortable against the wall. And then, you know, we got our lights. And then this is where we decided to add the Berkey. Now, this is the video I did yesterday, what I told we added. It's the, the one and a half gallon Berkey. Now, the hubby, he made this floating shelf. And then I'm going to go under here so you can see. So it's like really, really strong. I mean, you can't budge. And then what he decided is he put like, I don't know what you would call it. Something that holds, he just like a wedge. Let me scoot back a little bit. A wedge to hold the water. Now, obviously, we're not going to drive like that. We're still going to put like a strap here. But just so you can see, just um, just an added uh, security. And on the lip, he made a like a little... Let's see. I'm going to put this down for a second so you can see. He put a like a little divot and so the Berkey just sits right inside so it just sits right inside so it's like it's not just on a flat surface it's like sunk in there all the way around so I thought he did a good job and then he curved this out you know he cut this out and sanded it and then he made the corners all nice and soft, you know, not like a, a rough corner. And um, so between the what holds it and what lays inside, oh, this is off a little bit center. But I think he did a great job. Okay, so then we also added, okay, we added the water thing. We added a Mr. Buddy heater, which is in the house still. And then our tent is underneath this bed right here under mine. It's a pop-up shelter. And now, just so you can see it in the daytime. Now, these lights, he, he asked me, what do I want to do with these lights? Right now, they're not attached, but they got a sticky thing at the bottom. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to take the sticky part and just run it across the top. So I think that'll look nice. And let's step back and again we decided to go with a three burner. Move this out the way. The cast iron. We decided to go with the three burner and not the stove. We did a microwave instead. And then as far as the latch on the refrigerator, I know you haven't seen this yet. Okay, so during travel again, we were using straps. 
Um, so he decided to go with this buckle. And it's just a regular dorm fridge. Eventually we'll probably move to something else, but for right now this works. And I asked him, I said, do you think we need to put a lock on here? He says, no, this is not going anywhere. As long as it's on here good and tight, you know, it's this. Uh, the <laughs> what is this called? I don't know what this is called. Uh, the, yeah, whatever that is, it's on there and it's not going anywhere. And now below, we were going to use, well, let's back up here. Underneath the water, this is where we decided we're going to put like our soda and anything big item. But for right now, this is our uh, five foot folding table. And this is just uh, a wooden board just to hide it. He's going to put like a bar across. He's going to put a bar across here so then we can hang our clothes. But what I was thinking is, let me move this back a little bit. Maybe put a shelf first, like put a shelf right here and then put something hanging so we can put our shirts and stuff like that. And then this just hangs back up. Hang on a second. Here we go. And that just hangs up, just decorative so we can hide it. Because right now, again, that's our hanging closet. Because I was thinking if we could just put a shelf here, I could put the towels and stuff on that shelf. And then we could put like, you know, our jackets and coats and hang that up. So that's still a work in progress. We did add two fire hydrants. Fire hydrant. <laughs> two fire extinguishers. We put one here by the door, the curbside door. And then we put one in the back in his garage. The garage is on this other side of this wall here. So if you see the view from back this way, if you come in from the curbside, you know, you come into the kitchen. And then we got the screen to keep the bugs out. So you, so when you walk in, you're going to see right the kitchen. He still has this. I've been bugging him to get rid of this DeWalt thing plugged in, but I think he's still kind of tweaking things around. So eventually we'll take that out and it'll be empty. Now what he did add, he finally put like a lip here. So I got my fan here. So like when I'm cooking um, a lip here. So this is where my canned goods are going to be for right now. It's just the water storage, extra water. So I can just take this water and then just pour it in the Berkey. So canned goods are going to go here. He finally lined this and then he put decorative so you can see it around the side, like an industrial cabin country style. And I thought it looked nice. He just did such a great job. Oh, and then, then that's the speaker for the, uh, what is it? A Bluetooth, but I can't play the music. Okay. So this, he put a, he put a speaker here and then he put a speaker down here. And like I said, he finally, he put the shelves at the bottom. Those are just more lights. Now, same with this one. He put the back in and then he put the bottom. So you could, you know, I can put myself in and, and the air's got a little lip. So if whatever's in here, it's not going to slide during travel mode. Oh, and then there's the other speaker. So yeah, he did a good job. All that is lined in, kind of hide, hide the wires. Now, this is what I decided. Now, I know my husband, he thinks that I'm weird. Okay. I don't want to be a one-trick pony. I don't always want to use propane. If we're plugged into an RV park, Let's say the propane sometimes, even though we got two 30 gallon propane, I decided to buy a uh, one burner cast iron skillet to plug in. And then he's got the plug right underneath there. See that? So just an alternative. And then the skillet fits right on. I mean, it's perfect. I think it's perfect. 
So then, well, let me just put this up. So this is the idea. This won't stay out. I'll just take the skillet, I mean the burner, put it away along with the other appliances, put the skillet on top. So all the kitchen stuff, the hubby really gave me a lot of storage. Now again, I probably didn't need that rice cooker. And then I got a small crock pot and then a toaster because I love my toast to go with my oatmeal in the morning. Of course, you don't want to hear all that. <laughs> All right, so this is it. So we have the uh, the pop-up shelter that's in, let me lift this up a little bit so you can see. Okay, so that's the pop-up shelter. There's our vacuum, and then there's this little tent. And then I bought that 25-foot uh, extension cord. So the idea is when we're in camp mode, we're going to go out the door and then we're going to put the pop-up shelter right here. It's an 8x8 eight eight quick set pop-up by Clam. We'll put that right there. And then it's just going to be an added area to go to instead of always just being inside. So this is it. Cast iron skillet, electric. We bought the Berkey. We bought the quick set um, shelter we t we sold and got rid of those bulky futons and you know what this is just really comfortable i real i double layered the mover's blanket on the bottom so on the plywood and then we went foam and then mover's blanket again and then all i got to do is add the sheets and then i just folded the the comforter now eventually when it gets cold we'll put the screen back up take out the air condition and then the portable toilet goes right here I just got it outside holding the door open it's right there so again this is a little bathroom right here and we're all set bathroom living area let's fix that back up bathroom living area and the kitchen and then again we'll have the pop-up shelter like right out here out, outside the door well thank you so much for staying tuned to our channel this is adventures jerry lynn and we're just waiting for the hubby's vacation which is coming up here pretty soon and when we do go well when he goes on vacation um i can take it off anytime because i'm self-employed we are going to have some video for you. Oh, I did pick these up. I got some movers blankets, some clips. So in case I want to, you know, just have something handy around here, I got to hang something up. I thought those were a good idea. And um, we appreciate you uh, coming back and seeing us. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Have a great day. There's my little sign there, sarcasm, not served all day. And my life is better at the beach, and I can't wait. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you so much. We'll see you out on the open road. Take care. Bye-bye.